Hey everyone, David Chesworth here from Hilton Head Health. We're here for your second installment of Functional Movements for Strength. Today we're going to talk about three different progressions for getting up and down off the ground. And I have Maria here as my lovely assistant to help me do that. So progression number one, you're going to use a chair for assistance. So the first thing Maria's going to do is she's going to take a step backwards into a reverse lunge. Using the chair for assistance, she's going to lower her back leg down onto the mat. She is then going to go onto her both knees, onto her hands, and from there she can take herself to a lying position on the ground. To get back up, she's going to do the reverse motion. She's going to come up to her hands and knees, lift up her chest, prepare to use her hands, one leg up, using her hands to help her, she will stand on up. And that's the first progression. The second progression there is no chair. But she's going to start off the stage. She's going to take a step back using her leg for support. She's going to use the, her hands as she lowers her back leg down towards the mat, down to her knees, to all fours, and on to her back. And to get back up, she'll do just the reverse. So she'll come back up to her hands and knees, lift up her chest, bring one foot forward, use her hands to help her stand up. Very nice. And the third and final progression, no hands. She's going to take a big step backwards, bring it on down to her knees, to her hands and knees, onto her back, back up to her hands and knees, lift up with her chest, bring her foot forward, and stand up using no hands for support. So the way that you know you're ready to move from one progression to the next is if you can do a progression using both legs to do it. Once you are able to do it with both legs, move up to the next progression. This has been David Chesworth for the second installment of Functional Movement for Strength. Stay happy.